Lost in the middle of the North Pacific Ocean, the islands of four mountains emerge from Alaska's frigid waters like volcanic sentinels that have stood for thousands of years. This small volcanic archipelago is located in the central region of the Aleutian Islands, a chain of more than 300 islands extending over 1,185 miles between Alaska and Russia. The Aleutian region has a fascinating geological history, formed by tectonic plate collisions that created one of the most active volcanic zones on the planet. Historically, these islands were inhabited by the Unangan peoples for more than 9,000 years, who developed a unique culture adapted to the extreme volcanic environment. During World War II, the region gained strategic importance when Japanese forces occupied some Aleutian Islands, making it the only continental American territory invaded during the conflict. Today, these remote islands continue to serve as a natural laboratory for volcanologists from around the world. The Four Mountains Archipelago consists of six stratovolcanoes distributed across four main islands, Carlisle, Cleveland, Herbert, Cagamil, Tana, and Uliaga. Among them, Mount Cleveland stands out as one of North America's most active volcanoes over the past two decades. Its frequent eruptions produce ash clouds that can reach altitudes between 14,764 feet and 29,528 feet, four and a half to nine kilometers above sea level. But a recent discovery may completely change our understanding of this region. Geologists from the Carnegie Institution for Science, led by researcher Diana Roman, have collected intriguing evidence suggesting something extraordinary hidden beneath the waters surrounding these volcanic islands. Preliminary data indicates that these apparently separate mountains may actually be part of a much larger and more dangerous geological structure. The discovery promises to revolutionize our understanding of volcanic activity in the Aleutians and raise important questions about geological risks in the region. If confirmed, this revelation would place the Four Mountains Archipelago in a completely different category of volcanic phenomena, comparables only to the world's most famous supervolcanoes. During years of intensive studies at Mount Cleveland, Diana Roman's team began noticing strange patterns that didn't fit the typical behavior of isolated volcanoes. Seismic data showed underground connections between different volcanoes in the region, suggesting they could share the same magma source. Geochemical analyses of volcanic rocks revealed similar compositions between islands that should have distinct characteristics if they were independent volcanic systems. Gravity and magnetism measurements of the region also presented significant anomalies. The ocean floor between islands showed characteristics resembling collapsed structures, much larger than expected for conventional volcanoes. Bathymetric data revealed circular depressions on the seafloor that could indicate the presence of a submerged caldera of impressive dimensions. Studies of geothermal areas on different islands showed heating patterns, suggesting an interconnected fluid circulation system. The spatial distribution of volcanoes also caught researchers' attention, as it followed a circular arrangement characteristic of volcanic calderas. These apparently separate volcanoes could be positioned along the rim of a much larger structure hidden beneath the ocean. Evidence continued accumulating when analyses of historical volcanic products revealed episodes of simultaneous activity between different volcanoes in the region. Ash deposits and pyroclastic flows showed characteristics indicating eruptive events of magnitude far superior to what isolated volcanoes could produce. Ground deformation patterns measured by satellite also suggested coordinated movements between different islands. But if these clues are correct, what exactly have scientists discovered hidden in the depths of the Pacific Ocean? And what would be the true destructive potential of this hidden geological structure? The answer may be related to one of Earth's most feared and powerful volcanic phenomena. The evidence collected by geologists points to the existence of something much more impressive than conventional volcanoes, a submerged volcanic caldera of gigantic proportions. Calderas are structures formed when massive magma reservoirs in Earth's crust are emptied during catastrophic eruptions, causing surface collapse and creating circular depressions that can be dozens of miles in diameter. Unlike stratovolcanoes, which tap relatively small magma reservoirs, calderas connect directly with enormous magma chambers located deep in the crust. When pressure in these reservoirs exceeds the resistance of overlying rocks, gigantic amounts of lava and ash are released in continental scale eruptive episodes. These eruptions are among the most explosive volcanic events that can occur on Earth. Calderas are responsible for some of the largest volcanic catastrophes in geological history. Eruptions of this type can eject thousands of cubic miles of volcanic material, creating ash clouds that circle the globe and affect world climate for years. 
the Yellowstone Supervolcano, Lake Toba in Indonesia, and Long Valley Caldera in California are famous examples of these extreme volcanic systems. If confirmed, this would be the first caldera identified in the Aleutian Islands that remains completely hidden beneath the ocean. The underwater location adds extra layers of complexity and potential danger, as large-scale submarine eruptions can generate devastating tsunamis beyond typical atmospheric effects. The interaction between superheated magma and seawater can dramatically amplify the explosiveness of any future eruptive event. The discovery would also offer an elegant explanation for the persistent explosive activity observed at Mount Cleveland over recent decades. Instead of being an isolated volcano with erratic behavior, Cleveland could be functioning as a kind of escape valve for a much larger magmatic system operating in the depths. But to confirm this revolutionary hypothesis, scientists will need much more conclusive evidence. Confirming the existence of this submerged caldera will require a large-scale scientific expedition to collect direct evidence from the ocean floor. Researchers plan to return to the islands of four mountains with advanced underwater mapping equipment, ocean drilling systems, and high-precision seismic instruments. Detailed samples of volcanic rocks and more comprehensive geochemical analyses will be essential to establish connections between different volcanoes in the region. Additional gravimetric and magnetic data will help map the complete three-dimensional structure of the possible caldera, revealing its actual dimensions and the depth of the underlying magma reservoir. Studies of geothermal areas on each island will provide insights into fluid circulation patterns and heat distribution in the system. Continuous seismic monitoring could detect subtle magma movements that would confirm the existence of an active magma chamber. If evidence confirms the caldera hypothesis, the implications will be enormous for a volcanic risk assessment in the North Pacific. An active caldera in the Aleutians would represent a potential threat not only to Alaska, but to the entire northern hemisphere through global climate effects. More sophisticated monitoring systems will need to be installed to detect signs of increasing activity in this gigantic structure. The discovery would also revolutionize our understanding of the geological evolution of the Aleutian Islands and the tectonic processes that shaped this region over millions of years. Submarine calderas are extremely rare and difficult to study, making this possible discovery a unique scientific treasure. Data collected could help scientists better understand how calderas form in oceanic environments and how they evolve over geological time. This research reminds us of the dynamic and often hidden nature of geological processes that shape our planet. Even in an era of advanced technology and global monitoring, Earth still guards impressive secrets in ocean depths. Science continues revealing that our world is much more complex and interconnected than we imagined and that we still have much to learn about the powerful forces operating beneath our feet. If you are fascinated by this extraordinary discovery, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to follow more surprising revelations about the hidden mysteries of our planet.